Hey guys, what's up? So today I am sitting with Aman Mittal, who recently cracked the civil services examination and got 20th rank. He is an IIT graduate. And congrats to you, Aman. Thanks for Aman. having such a brilliant rank. And now he will be teaching you regarding his preparation strategy. And off to you, Aman. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Hi, guys. And I am really honored to be a part of this initiative. I will try to share some of the tips and tricks that I employed during the part of my preparation for the civil service examination and as we go through the next few slides I'll go through the things in detail. Hey guys what's up so I'm Aman Mittal and I am here to discuss about my preparation strategy which I followed for the civil service examination in which I secured 20th rank this year the results of which were announced in July 2015 and more specifically I'll be discussing how an academy can be useful to you in the course of your preparation and as we move forward i like to introduce myself a bit before we move forward so as you all know i got a 20th rank in the civil service examination this year and i'll be joining the 2015 batch which starts from the september this year in masuri so i did my graduation with a dual degree in electrical engineering from iit delhi so I have a B.Tech in Electrical Engineering and an M.Tech in Information and Communication Technology. And as I move forward, I want to reiterate that please, please spread this word of education revolution in which a lot of people can be benefited from the free videos which are provided to most of the people, specifically for the civil services. And in case you have any query or any doubt or any comment that you want to make, please comment before, below the video or you can also send in the them on the Facebook page which I just underlined the Roman official page so before I start giving you the tips and tricks of the civil service examination how I cracked it and how you these may be helpful to you if they are I would like to start with a bit of a personal message that I wanted to give and why I am trying to give you them is because According to me, civil service examination, more than just being an entry point into the civil services of the country, is also a journey that provides you lots of lessons as you move through the course of it. There are many ups, many downs, there are many things you learn, there are many things you unlearn also. And, and there are few things that I really, really consider very important for everyone so that not only being a good civil servant in the future but also for a, being a good human to learn anything in the future these may be quite useful though so first thing that I really really want you to take note of is to leave your ego why this thing is important is that we have I found a lot of ego that really holds us back we kind of feel that we are so intelligent, so we don't really need to study a lot, we will crack this exam or sometimes we have an ego that we are more intelligent than a person, another person X and we may not really need to learn a lot of things from that person. So those are hindrances to learning and as and when you keep those hindrances with yourselves, you will never be able to succeed in life as you want to. So the second point I'd like to you to take note is that be ready to work hard. I think it needs no reiteration. You have to work hard. It's not a cakewalk, this examination. So the third thing is believe in yourselves. Sometimes there are many people who will tell you that you will not be able to make it. There are many people who will kind of disappoint you. And even there are situations where you yourselves will start doubting whether you'll be able to complete this journey or not. I would say you've taken this path complete it believe that you can do and you will certainly do it have faith in god this examination is full of uncertainties full of uncertainties god is another name for hope so just have faith that whatever you are doing will have a positive impact on you and your life in the future whether you make it to the civil services or not is a different story altogether but have faith in whatever you are doing Another thing that is very close to my heart is meditation. I always believe that you should always have something like meditation or hob or yoga that you should do to de-stress yourselves. Because when you are taking a journey 
that is as long as the civil service examination you need to de-stress yourselves continuously and this is something that I always stress upon to everyone try and meditate for 20 minutes if you can every day and the last and a very important thing is when you are revising things you cannot revise the entire text altogether you always have to focus on keywords and summaries so that things become very clear to you when you're moving forward and there's nothing like left back when you're revising the things at the end now let me more specifically move towards the uh, unacademy tutorials and what sequence you should follow uh, especially for the beginners who would be starting they can start with the demolished CSC videos 2015 for this year which provides you all the book lists as well as the preparation strategy one of the most important things that I really found about these videos uh, I was not able to see all of them because all of them were not prepared by then but yes now I have seen most of them I can tell you is that they are very very comprehensive in their approach so they can not only be complementary to whatever you're doing they can in some topics they can actually be exhaustive in their own right so I guess that is something that you should always look forward to and I'm hoping that soon many other toppers of this examination this year will help uh, Roman Zenisar to make dem uh, another set of series for the CSE 2016 and I think that part will start once the prelims 2015 gets over let's see how that pans out but this is one of our my thinking that can be quite a useful asset in the future so the next part that I would like to really uh, focus on you uh, is that you should try and watch the uh, CSE mains part both the part 1 and part 2 for the demolished CSE there are, there's a wonderful video of the myths that are busted for UPSC CSE aspirants and I think if you get time try and watch this me video because a lot of things that go around have been discussed some of the general issues general tips that do not get discussed in general parlance have been discussed in this video so now in the use of technology for the UPSC preparation one should be very 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 pragmatic because as UPSC is changing it is becoming more and more dynamic one needs to look into the various apps which are available the which we'll be discussing the various mobile websites which, the, which are available the various websites which are available and the various videos which in fact an academy is also a part of the video universe which is there and in fact uh, when you're watching the videos i'll really like to mention that the most of the videos in an academy have been uh, listed as a pre playlist thing and because there are no ads that are part of it you can actually watch them in a sequence without really having to wait for it so i think this is a very very good part of this unacademy thing that i forgot to mention earlier so i just go went through the videos once again for your sake so these these are the playlists which are available i guess there are two videos for essay i think one of the main video of mr roman seni sir only is very very useful because it gives you an entire structure and this is what I kind of followed during my preparation also I saw it in I think September first week or somewhat like that and then there's how to read UH9 less than 24 hours I think this is important because this actually tells you that you should not take more than one day in any case to read a magazine like Yojna which is quite important but certainly there has to be an upper time how to read Hindu in less than 90 minutes I think this is quite critical and mostly for the beginners it is more useful quality I think I am actually looking forward to the completion of this part of uh, the an academy project because what from whatever I saw of it these are very comprehensive videos and I think more or less it covers the quality aspect in whatever aspect it has covered till now and once this entire thing gets completed I think there will be around 30 odd videos so it should cover your entire syllabus more or less so and then there are 11 videos for CSAT paper 2 I guess they won't be that very useful in the change pattern of civil service prelims and then there are two videos on memory aids so this goes with the same but yeah the most important part that I really would like to mention is the art and culture the six videos of art and culture I think they are the most comprehensive videos I've seen for art and culture especially for civil service examination because more or less all your questions will be asked 
within this domain so the next thing i like to mention is the yeah the this is also very important the environment and ecology so environment ecology and art and culture i guess uh, the unacademy videos are more than sufficient they are very exhaustive very comprehensive and in case you have any doubts i'll suggest you uh, actually take the first look at these and then you can google whatever doubts you have or you can actually ask in, on the facebook page that you mentioned the ancient history two videos i think these would there more further will be added world history more is going to be added these are very comprehensive but yes they are incomplete till now disaster management and yeah biodiversity this this is a wonderful set of videos that i have seen i think this uh, coupled with environment and ecology will actually not only prepare you for the prelims but also for the mains gs3 which is quite a, an important part of especially for this year i am expecting a lot of questions from it so then there is a vid, uh, videos two videos on conventions and protocols these are important but i think you will need to back them up by more official data that comes from the websites and directly and you need to keep updated on all those things that keep happening we'll try to make an a more updated blog post but yes i think you'll need to be more pragmatic on that there are 10 videos on science and tech more will be coming i think around 40 or as i have been told geography two videos have been made i guess more would be coming again and then there are compulsory language papers english and hindi uh, at least go through it once before you you are giving the these papers because you at least need to qualify it is said that around 2000 to 3000 people out of the 16000 who qualify means do not qualify for the interview stage because of this factor english or hindi and then there's a video of how to fill the daf that you, that will be necessary once you are qualified from the prelims and what to do on, on the upsc doomsday the thing that what to do 3 hours before what to do one day before and things especially for those who feel a lot stressed when you are giving the examination so another few good sources that i really like to mention uh, especially on the internet and the sources which are more or less free are uh, one i really like to mention is mrunal.org most of his blogs were very good now i think he is starting to make videos which i have not really seen much but some of them are really good but do look out for the uh, detail posts that he had made in the history in the past and then insights on india this is one of the best for answer writing i think for the change pattern for means i think this might be a very good asset for you guys and yes the apps this is the very important part that i really like to say that try and download these two apps for the paper you can just then move around and read these papers as and when you are going you don't need to spend any extra time on it constitution of india this is a wonderful app specifically for the prelims part because i mean you can read the books as and when you want but when you read the bare bones constitution i think that gives you the real structure of how the constitution has been made how it has evolved part by part article by article then mea india this is a wonderful app uh, i think there is no space in the app when you are writing it on the play store so mea india app is a wonderful app and in that there's a public di diplomacy section in which there's a uh, distinguished lecture series i really used to read those lectures very diligently and i think they used to give a very good perspective and first hand perspective of the foreign dip diplomats of in india who used to work on the field so this was more or less about it from my side but before we end i'd really like to mention that please spread the word of this education revolution in the terms of an academy to as many people as you can because is going to help a lot of people especially those who do not want to take coaching and lastly i'd like to say please subscribe like and comment on the page for fun academy wherever you can and i thank thanks a lot for watching this tutorial i hope you subscribe to this channel so that you keep getting updates for new videos which gets uploaded over the period of time i hope it, you find it useful and best of luck for your preparation Have an awesome day. Thank you.